guys i'm sitting inside of a honda civic and this car is actually really nice um the first time i tried to get a honda civic it wasn't um working out for me but it, it was like look at this car it's so nice I like this part because my cup holders right now are like right by the radio or right by my gears and I can't put my gear in park when I have cups in my cup holder. I don't know why they made the 96 Toyota Camry like that, um, but I like this car. So I don't know if I'm getting a new car right now, but I am going to ask about like financing and stuff like that. So here comes Guys, I'm sitting in another dealership because um, I went the other day. And it didn't quite work out like I wanted it to, but um, I'm basically having to look for a car now because Cinnamon is basically um, now when I try to start her, she'll take a really long time to start. Like I'll have to crank her. It'll just make this noise where it's like um, for like a long time. So I have to sit there and really start her. And I don't mind warming her up. I never have, but it's the fact that now I can't start her instantly you know like my car just don't turn on which is odd um, so i'm at um this toyota dealership at my house because they're having like this little sale and um i came in to talk to the manager i'm just waiting for him to come out so i can see what kind of options i have i've never went through a dealership ever when i've gotten a car i've always gone through private sellers i.e. like Craigslist and people who resell um, legit used cars and stuff like that because um, it was a dealership we got this from but it wasn't like a Toyota or Honda and like that it was like a little private dealer uh, where he just sells all kinds of cars so I've never ever wanted to pay a car note or anything like that but um, at this point in my life I'm like if it means I get a better car and it's gonna last me long as cinnamon has or longer then I am totally here for it but I'm just kind of waiting I'm waiting on my options I don't believe in just jumping into anything especially like this um I don't believe in just jumping into it so I'm really 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 weighing my options you guys know I'm picky as hell when it comes to a lot of different things especially a car um so now I wait to see what happens. Um, yeah. So now I wait to see what happens. I don't know how this is going to go. Like, I'm nervous. Like, I've never made a car decision by myself. And I, and I don't have any friends out this way. Or the ones I do have, like, they're busy. Um, you know, mom, I don't know what's going on between my mom right now. She just flashed on me last night for no real reason. Um... We, I didn't want to tell you this, but me and my mom have been in this really odd space for um, since my grandmother passed. And um, I've been trying to give her, her the benefit of the doubt because, you know, that was her mother. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been trying to definitely be there for her and stuff, but I also um, haven't been dealing with my issues with it, you know, as well. And, you know, I still don't even want to really, it, like, talk about it sometimes because I'm just like what can I say you know but we're in this really odd space and she's been getting mad at me a lot and I know it's not me it's something else you know what I'm saying so I've just been letting her have her moment but lately she's been kind of going at it more and more and more so that's why I feel like I can't <clears throat> really wait to move out um this wasn't my plan when I was like 18 19 to be here and life happened you know things just didn't work out I've been trying to get an apartment but um for some reason it's not exactly working out either so yeah so now i'm just gonna try to do other things to occupy my time i.e figure out a lot of different things with school and um thinking about going back to school and um getting another job on top of this one i already work because <laughs> I still want to live, but I also want to save and um, be smart with my money. So, that's why I'm like, I need another job, which is something that I have been trying to get for a while. And I'm just like, you know, whenever I, I go out and get other jobs, like, I've never really had it easy getting another job. So, I'm always very grateful when I do get jobs. Like, I'm very, 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 very grateful. So, I'm just trying to 
make my life better right now so a part of me just wants to be like just give me the car so i can get the fuck out of california and just stay out of california it takes take paris and go um but i know that it's not good for me to like run because my spirit has not been settled for a really long time like for a long time you know and I know it's just because it was just there's a lot going on in my life and you know I just need to figure out what it is that's gonna settle it but yeah I'm pretty much waiting for this guy hopefully he can tell me something good you know maybe I can get a car maybe that'll be the first step towards things starting to kind of calm down in my life and go to the right direction I would want a black car though I've never had a black car I've had gray I've had um, well, it was silver actually. I had a silver car. I had a gold car now, and I used to drive my dad's car. His car was like this bluish turquoise color when he had that. Uh, he has a truck now, like a, a huge truck. Um, so I've never really had a light car. I mean, a dark car. So I would kind of want like a black or like a deep burgundy or a deep blue car. Um, I don't mind. I've never had a red car either. Like, I've only had two cars in my life, so. Um, I would be open to any color. I don't want white. I don't want white. I just feel like when it gets dirty, it shows way more than a black car or a dark car, you know? <laughs> and I might be going through the struggle, so I might just need to be dirty. But yeah. So I'm just waiting, you guys. But I'll update you and let you know what happens. Trying to sell my car is really for the entire bird population. Like... I can't. I'm not even getting any good offers. Okay, you guys, so I'm just kind of keeping you guys updated on what's going on with my car shit. So I actually came to another dealership, and it didn't exactly work out like I wanted it to. Um, their their payments are way too high. Their down payment is way too high. Um, I'm just not finna go broke to get a new car. Um, so I'm trying to sell it on three different websites. I'm actually gonna go to get a for sale sign right now and put it in my window. Um, so I lost my handicap sticker for my mom and my brother. So I'm gonna have to get another one of those. But I feel bad trying to get it and. I'm trying to get a new car so I'm just gonna probably wait until I get another car <sighs> you guys I hate this process this is why I haven't done it in years but it's necessary for me to do it um right about now I'm just like I really just want to get this process over with and I know it's a can be long and some people don't have this trouble and lucky them but some people are like me and they have a little bit more problems um, so I'm kind of trying to take you guys along for the ride, so to speak. Um, I'm, I'm a little annoyed right now and I'm trying not to get too much into the annoyed cause you know, I can't do anything about it, but I have like one offer that is necessary. Like for sure I could get it when I sell the car. Um, so right now I'm going to go to nissan and ford as well to see what happens but <sighs> just pray for me you guys like i'm not being funny i'm not joking just pray for me pray that i sell this car quickly and everything and these sales people always telling me oh you can go sell it so quick blah blah blah, blah. i'm like okay but where the fuck are those people at who want to buy the car instantly because apparently they're not around me um so I'm just going to go to these other dealerships and see what happens. And um, no matter what, I'm going to just kind of keep an open mind about the situation. And I'm also going to go get a for sale sign if necessary. So I will actually um, tell you guys what happens after I go visit the other two dealerships and um, talk to you guys later. So you guys, um, I wanted to kind of update you. I still have my car um cinnamon i have still have cinnamon right now but um i'm actually kind of waiting to get a good offer or i'm gonna do this program that i did with my last car um via pick and pull if you guys don't know what it is it's like you take your car there and they kind of pull it apart take pieces they need anybody who needs it um so I sent in my paper for that the other day and she told me it takes like three weeks to hear back from them 
So either I'm gonna hear back from them first or I'm gonna get offer first. Either way, it's kind of like a plan A or B. Um, and then the dealership, the guy from the dealership said he was gonna give me a call tomorrow and kind of check on to see how everything was going. Um, this right here is looking up too fucking square and I am not here for that. Uh, now I'm going to go um, yeah so now I'm gonna go and do some job hunting I'm working right now but I want another job so um, we'll see what happens <laughs> And I'm just gonna gonna keep it open for that as well. So I'm going to an open interview right now. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I will update you guys if I find out any more information. I've been getting like low, low, low ball offers. And then people have been legit like kind of arguing with me about it. Like, you know, like, oh, blah, blah. And I'm like, I'm not asking $8,000, you guys. It's nothing near that price. So the fact that people will even low ball me on the price that I'm already saying is just annoying. But um, yeah, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated with my car woes. Um, and let you know what's going on. So I am gonna go to this interview. I'm letting my car run for a little bit so she can warm up. And then I am just gonna go do that and see what happens. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get so tired to see in this video, but I'm in another dealership. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in Volkswagen. So a couple weeks ago, I saw that they had a sign and drive deal. So I was like, well, let me come over here and see what I can possibly get. I'm still offering, excuse me. Um, but he was like, my car is not even worth a hundred dollars to them, and blah blah blah. I'm like, he was only gonna give me a hundred dollars for my car. Wait, <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> um, wait. So. Um, because I'm not at a Toyota dealership, you know what I'm saying? At least at Toyota, they would give me 500 but still, that is not enough for me. So, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to keep trying. But, um, next time I get a car, I'm keeping it for a very long time. Um, I kept this car for five years, so that was a long time for me. But she's starting to, um get high mileage and also um sometimes i really have to crank her when i start her so i just want to make sure that i get the best deal and whoever gets her gets the best deal i'm not charging full price i paid almost three thousand for her so i would never i would never do that um so i'm making sure whoever gets it i at least sell it to them for like 1500 hi pumpkin so you guys i finally finished cleaning my room and organizing my vanity just to kind of take my mind off of this car stuff. So, I guess I could show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> and um, what I basically kind of did to it. So, don't mind this. This is just all my empty luggage. Like, my, my suitcase and my backpack and my purses that I'm not using right now. So, <clears throat> my room is kind of small. So, I got to make do with my space. Um, but, you know, it definitely could be worse. So, I'm not mad. So, this is actually a lipstick holder my cousin gave me. I turned it upside down right now and put my brushes on it because I want to stop buying makeup and I want to encourage myself to do it. So, I turned it upside down and just put it on the brushes on there. And these are my brushes. I have to wash them tomorrow. I've been cleaning my room and my vanity and everything all day today. So, tomorrow I'm going to wash brushes. Um, so let's just go over here. It's my chair that I have for there. I just got this book today. Um, I've been really, I love Sam Fine. I think he's absolutely amazing. And <clears throat> one of my best friends told me that if you, you, sh if you want the life that somebody else has, not necessarily you, you're stalking, but just like you want to go where they gone, um, you should read up on them and stuff like that. So I think Sam Fine is amazing. I've been in love with him for years. So he was one of the first, um, makeup artists to work on African American skin. So I just really love that. I think it's absolutely amazing so i got his book today and it's over here my vanity i'm probably going to get a book holder like one of those ones from like um ross or something like it's used for something else and put my book on it because i don't want it to get dirty because i accidentally got a little foundation on it earlier and i'm a little salty about it 
Also, these are all my lipsticks, <coughs> color coordinated. Yeah. Um, so these are just the glosses and exfoliator, two glosses. My mom gave me this one. This is a TBT right here. I, I was dying when she gave it to me. She got like a three pack from the Dollar Tree. And it's actually like scented lip gloss. It's really, it smells really good though. So I was like, I'll keep it. So <laughs> I was like, that's where we started. You know, so never forget about the roly poly lip gloss. So also I got my acrylic makeup organizer today you guys this thing is amazing because let me just tell you i'm probably gonna do it in my february and january favorites because i was sick so i'll be able to do that um it's five drawers technically four drawers in the top um the top does come back here if you can see this I, I opened it up and just so I could put all my like beginning stuff like the stages, my eyebrows, my primer sprays, my primers, my lip balms, my um, pencils are actually in this little, it's a little mailbox. Let me show you guys. It's from Target. <clears throat> it was for Valentine's Day and stuff. As you can see, it has like a little heart on it. I don't know if you guys could see that. Yeah, it has a little heart on it. Um, and I thought that was just so cute and it was only a dollar. So I was like, why not? You know, that little section where they have like one to three dollar things. And I thought that was so cute. So I switched from the jars to the aluminum container. I put them all upside down so I could see what colors they were. <clears throat> because some of them are really hard to tell. Um, and basically I think I'll just go by each drawer. This is the clearly the eyelash and eyeliner drawer, mascara, all of that. I have a bunch of mascara. Some of them I have not used yet. This one is actually new because I just purchased a Lancome foundation and I got that free and some moisturizer, um, some the age serum things of that nature. This drawer is actually my blush and um, I almost said bronzer and highlight drawer and powder drawer. So back here are the powders. Here are the blushes. This is stubborn, uh, to toxic or tonic, to tonic by ColourPop. It's gorgeous, you guys. It comes off so pretty. <clears throat> Then this is, of course, my favorite love rush. Um, these are all of the, the rest is, is highlighters, you guys. This is highlighter, this is highlighter, this is highlighter, this. All these are highlighters. This is the Bella highlighter in, not Bella, I'm sorry. <laughs> Laura Geller highlighter in Ballerina, I believe. So, this is the one that I'm low-key obsessed with. It's not like the Honey Glided one, which is like that gold pretty pretty gold that one almost looks like that the one that i want um it almost looks like that um so lately in my pictures you guys um people have been asking me on instagram if you follow me on instagram which highlighters have i been mixing together to create like this really overly bright highlight i actually have two highlighters it's the anastasia beverly hills peach nectar and also mac gold deposit I literally put the Anastasia Beverly Hills on first, then I layer it with this. So if you guys have those two or something like it, you could even use the Fergie ones to create that look. So you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. Um, so next drawer is my eyeshadows. Well, my single eyeshadows and my glitter. So as you can see, I'm low-key obsessed with ColourPop. Low-key. Just the lowest of keys and these are my glitter liners back here um these are the extra um eyeliners that i haven't used or opened yet <clears throat> this is just like a paint wheel that i use as a base sometime this is a ColourPop gel liner glitter 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 is kind of all over this drawer so these are the nyx glitters that i have um you can't see that one in the back but yeah there it goes um i plan on doing a couple of tutorials with these because I got it now. And these are my palettes down here. So, all of my palettes. My Lorac Paul palette, my Sam Fine palettes, my Naked palette, my Emergency palette that I got as a gift. Um, I got these as a gift too, I want to say. 
I want to say I got one as a gift and I brought the other two. So, yeah. So, I have all three, but one of them is in my kit. This is the Technic to Brazil palette and the Carnival palette. So, and this is the Ariel palette from e.l.f. I also kept that because, hello, I love Ariel and it has my initial on it. So, yes. I actually got to switch this around a little bit. Pull this out. <laughs> switch this around because this is actually a single shadow. This is, um, something sketch. That's what it's called. I used to use this all the time. As you can see, there's a nice little dent in there. But, um, I haven't used it in a while because I've been using, you know, the little rack pole palette. It's a little bit of a lighter maroon color. And this one's almost like deep deep maroon burgundy with a hint of black in it so i really do appreciate it but i really want it to go in this drawer so it could be you know with the single eyeshadows and stuff so <clears throat> that's my contour and i think that is it you guys these are just my brushes and you've seen those already and this let me show you guys this is what i've been like working on for like a month and some change well a couple months and some change because i always find something new to put on it so you guys know i love like vision boards and collages i used to make collages as gifts for people when i was in high school so i actually have this this is like my makeup love collage clearly anything makeup skincare beauty i adore it so i've just taken some boxes and some stuff that i had empty this was empty this was new but i glued it i got most of this stuff from the dollar tree unless it says the name on it like this clinique box i cut it and put it on here the three one mascara i had used it all so i figured why not put it on there um the lush bag clearly i went to lush a couple times the mac bag i just cut it um i feel like it's so bad like we just use stuff and then we throw it away so the color pop stuff the envelope i cut up that um the makeup forever box that the foundation the powder foundation came in i didn't want to throw it away so i put it on here as well i don't want to throw away the laura geller box either it was so cute to me or the anastasia box because that was really cute that's my first anastasia um lipstick and highlighter that i brought together so i was like i thought that's really cute plus it has my initial my a you get, um and a beauty blender from the dollar tree paris actually tore this up you guys like and i kind of was digging the whole used look so it looked like you know she in there being bad um it looked like i had used it but the way she tore it up it's like she put all her nails into it but i was here for it this is just another mac it's for a blush i think this was for a sketch um I mean stubborn. I said sketch. Lord have mercy. Stubborn. Um, some lashes that I couldn't use anymore, so I glued them in here. A lipstick. Um, my favorite liner. The brush that I got that was for like breast cancer awareness. Um, I don't know if you guys remember. I had went out a while ago and did a haul, and I showed you guys that brush. I'm, I still use it. I just really didn't want to throw away the packaging. And I kind of just put some powder on here. They didn't have any powder in my color at the Dollar Tree, so I just got the darkest one. Put some eyeshadows. I put a blush, a mirror with lips on it because I love lips, clearly. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just kind of decorated it the way I wanted it a bow. I'm kind of looking for a, a frame or something to go put it in so it doesn't get destroyed by Paris. And it doesn't get, like, super dusty. But this has just been what I've been working on, like via me trying to find a car via me <laughs> trying to figure out a couple other things in my life i try to keep the i guess creativity in my life too as well but this is my vanity you guys this is what it looks like i'm not really in a space to do everything i want to do so this is just for now but i hope you guys like it i'll talk to you later <laughs>